Friends, in this video, we are going to learn how to install Siemens phase monitoring relay. Also learn how to do proper setting of this phase monitoring relay and also learn which protection which we get from this phase monitoring relay. So let's start video and first this is setup for this connection. So first we connect to one Siemens phase monitoring relay. Also we connect to one motor starter. If no any fault and all conditions okay then motor starter will start with this phase monitoring relay. Also we connect to one stop push button and one start push button. Okay for a start and stop of this motor starter. Now learn about this phase monitoring relay. So model number you can see on your screen of this Siemens phase monitoring relay. In this phase monitoring relay we have total three keys. First key is reset key by which we can reset any fault. Second is down key and third is up key. By pressing up and down key for three seconds we can program this Siemens phase monitoring relay. Now let's see about connection. So N and L1 in which we need to connect a neutral and line. You can connect any of the phase. L2 and L3 need to connect upper side. Okay. So three phase and neutral need to connect to operate this Siemens phase monitoring relay. So three phase in four wire system you can connect one neutral and three phase. Okay. And also control terminal you can see we have two relays 15 and 16 is NC. Okay. And 15 and 18 is NO. Okay. For running any motor starter or any of the device need to use 15 and 18. Okay. Also 25 and 26 is NC and 25 and 28 is NO. Okay. So you can you need to use common and NO for running any of the device. You can see also 15 and 16 is NC. NC would be used if you want to connect any fault indicator or any trip indicator. Okay. And 28 also used for trip indicator. And second relay you can use for any of the command and start stop any of the device. Now supply voltage for this phase monitoring relay. Line to line voltage 415 volt. Okay. And line to neutral volt is 240 volt. Okay. For operating this phase monitoring relay. Operating range that means over voltage and under voltage protection. So maximum limit is 280 to 500 volt line to line and 160 to 288 volt in line to neutral case okay and 4 ampere load you can connect it directly with this phase monitoring relay but you should use any of the contactor to running any other device okay so we will use contactor for running motor okay connection is very simple first we connect R, Y, B and neutral in MCB input terminal from output we will connect line and three phase that means three phase and neutral so we connected two connectors of r okay and also y and b we connected two connector okay and also connect neutral neutral also we connected two connector why we connected two connector so first neutral connect in this phase monitoring relay and second one is to operate contactor neutral okay so in coil we will connect neutral directly so first we connect to neutral in phase monitoring relay and now connect to neutral in this contactor coil directly. Okay, so neutral connection is now done for now and also for line power wiring. So R phase connect in L1 terminal, Y phase connect in L2 terminal and B phase connect in L3 terminal. So power wiring is now done for phase monitoring relay. Also for motor starter R, Y, B we will connect in this contactor input terminal so we connect r y and b and when contactor operates so contactor output terminal we will connect three wires and connect in motor terminal okay so for now just we connect input connection now power wiring is done for control wiring we connect r phase you can connect any of the phase and connect in relay 15 which is common okay in normal condition supply will pass from 18 which is NO so we connect one connector from 18 terminal and connect stop push button okay output of this stop push button need to connect in start push button NO element okay when we press NO element contactor will operate so we take 
वन कनेक्टर फ्रॉम स्टार्ट पुश बटन कनेक्ट इन कॉन्टेक्टर कॉइल ओके सो फर्स्ट वी टेक वन कनेक्टर फ्रॉम स्टार्ट पुश बटन एनो एलिमेंट एंड कनेक्ट दिस कनेक्टर टू कॉन्टेक्टर कॉइल ओके न्यूट्रल कनेक्ट डायरेक्टली वेन पुश बटन प्रेस तो कॉन्टेक्टर विल ऑपरेट मैनुअली ओके फॉर होल्डिंग सप्लाई नीड टू टेक वन कनेक्टर फ्रॉम कॉइल एंड नीड टू कनेक्ट दिस कनेक्टर फ्रॉम कॉन्टेक्टर कॉइल to anode terminal okay for holding supply for now we are connecting supply for holding so we take connector from coil and connect this connector to contactor in o terminal for holding supply okay and we take holding supply from anc output terminal or anode input terminal so first we take one connector from anode इनपुट टर्मिनल कनेक्ट इन कॉन्टेक्टर एनो टर्मिनल ओके वेन कॉन्टेक्टर ऑपरेट होल्डिंग सप्लाई कनेक्ट इन कॉन्टेक्टर कॉइल आई होप यू क्लियर द कॉन्सेप्ट सो वी टेक वन कनेक्टर फ्रॉम एनो इनपुट टर्मिनल एंड कनेक्ट दिस कनेक्टर टू कॉन्टेक्टर एन ओ टर्मिनल ओके नाउ अर कनेक्शन इज डन आई होप यू क्लियर द कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट द कनेक्शन नाउ लेट्स ए हाउ इट वर्क सो फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट पावर एम सी बी ओके now all conditions is okay so our phase monitoring relay is okay for now when we press now phase monitoring relay is okay you can see only green indicator is blinking okay now when you press start push button now motor starter will start when you press stop push button motor starter will stop okay now our phase monitoring relay is working properly now let's see how to do proper setting for this phase monitoring relay so for setting need to press up and down key for 3 second okay for 3 second now network you are enter in setting three phase three wire system for now so we set three phase four wire system okay in three phase four wire system it will show line to neutral voltage okay power off and when we power on it is showing line to neutral voltage in three phase four wire system and three phase three wire system it will show line to line volt okay for now it is showing line to neutral voltage okay for three second up and down key three phase four wire press up up key relay one for changing setting of relay one first is timing you can set time if any fault comes so after how much time phase monitoring relay will trip so you can set timing okay for rl1 relay 1 also you can set rl2 and hysteresis for both relay okay and next parameter is over voltage protection if you required over voltage protection so please on this protection and set voltage okay you can set over voltage so for now we set 288 volt for changing first press reset key and by up and down key you can set for now we set 290 volt in over voltage and also under voltage protection first we need to on this protection and you can set under voltage for now it is on 192 so reset and down key we set 190 volt so over voltage is 288 under voltage is 190 we set manually okay also we have some more protection which is over frequency protection over frequency protection we don't required for now so just off this over frequency now next parameter is under frequency protection if you required under frequency protection so please on this protection for now we off under frequency protection because we don't do not required at this time okay also phase asymmetry phase asymmetry protection first we on this protection and how to set phase asymmetry let's see okay for phase asymmetry we set 10% okay what it did mean of 10% for example your voltage is 400 volt and 10% is 40 okay so 400 to 360 it is difference of 40 and 400 to 440 it is different of 10% okay so if phase asymmetry phase difference is more than 10% so your phase monitoring relay will trip i hope you clear the concept next protection is phase sequence okay how first we on the phase sequence protection now let's see practically how it works if we change 
this phase sequence okay if in, in normal case if we change phase sequence so motor direction will change if you don't want to change any motor direction so just on this phase sequence protection for now we change y phase and b phase interchange now let's see what will happen if phase sequence is changed so you can see r1 and r2 led is blinking that means relay strip okay so in phase sequence if phase sequence is changed so phase monitoring relay will trip and your motor starter will not run okay till you correct this phase sequence okay so now which interchange y phase and b phase now let's see how it works now phase sequence is changed now you can see only green indicator is blinking okay only green indicator is blinking that means now phase monitoring relay is in okay condition so we if you require a phase sequence protection so just on okay now we on phase sequence protection now one more protection is phase failure if you require phase failure protection so just on phase failure protection okay also we have latch what did it mean of latch if any fault occur for example phase failure phase asymmetry over voltage or under voltage any fault occur and if you correct this fault so after correcting this fault do you required your phase monitoring relay reset automatically or need to by pressing reset key if you want to reset your phase monitoring relay manually that means by pressing reset key so just on latch function i hope you clear the concept of how to install siemens phase monitoring relay how to do proper connection and how to do proper setting if you like this video please press like button for today's enough we'll meet in next video thanks for watching